Where'd you go to college? Uh, South Dakota State. Any sports there? Wrestling. Is that where you beat uh, Brock? Uh, I beat Brock in high school. So you have to be a sophomore. He was a senior. I'm gonna put that on there. <laughs> what? I figured that would get on there. Oh yeah. He no, beat me in college seven four. Oh, so it was okay. It said that you fought him I, in um, high school and college. I wasn't sure which way. I beat him uh, five four and then uh, five three and then he beat me in double overtime. He won the flip. If I would have won the flip, I would have won. So, but he won, won the, the flip. flip. Yeah, and we go uh, three ah. two minute periods. And then you go a two minute overtime, and then you do a 30 second flip a coin. Whoever wins gets a choice top or bottom. He chose down, he got, he got out. So, how long have you been training then? I guess in MMA since college ended? So uh, no, just since last February. Oh, so that's actually, so that's your first camp that you Yeah. Went? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, what were you doing before? Um, prison. <laughs> uh, All right. <laughs> you know, working miscellaneous jobs. How long were you in prison for? Uh, seven months. What'd you do? I did. I, you know, I was in and out of jail for since '02. You know, just making bad decisions and not living the the right life, I guess. Um, when was like the last time you were incarcerated? Like, how long ago was that stuff? Was it '06? Uh, last time I was arrested was October 24th, '05. Right. Yeah, I don't know if we'll put that in. It's just you put whatever you want, brother. <laughs> I, I was a that. national champ in college in 2000. For okay. D2. Did the hit squad turn you around? Uh, no, I made I made that choice before I came to the gym. You just you know if, if you want to compete, you want to stay in shape, and you know, live healthy. That's you just can't be out drinking and and drugging, you know, partying like that. You just can't do it. And you know, I obviously I don't want to be locked up, you know. And that's where those decisions uh, took me. On the jail thing, what'd you go away for? Uh, third DUI. Okay. Anyone get hurt in any of the uh, DUIs, accidents, anything like that? No, no. And that's that was kind of the life you were living, very reckless. Yeah, very reckless. You know, just living very hedonistic, I guess you'd say. So, <clears throat> when you're in jail and you've got this wrestling background, like, are, what are you thinking from a, the fighting standpoint? Are you even thinking about what what you can do, or is it just all prison you know, and I, jail thoughts? I really wasn't even thinking about MMA in prison. You know, it was just more or less just looking around and thinking, you know, I don't belong here. You know, and. You know, I, I knew that deep down in my soul is, yeah, you know, this isn't a place for me, you know. But I knew that I'm the one that put myself there, and I knew that that path, that's where it's going to lead, is is being a nobody locked up, uh, you know, number four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, whatever. So what do you think uh, when you see Brock now, knowing that you're one of the rare guys who beat him high school, college, you're competing on the same level, and look where he is now? Uh, Hats off to him, man. He's he's doing great. You know, he's he's made all the right decisions, and you know it puts things in perspective for me. Seeing you know where the right decisions lead you to where, you know, the ones that I was making the wrong ones mm -hmm. in completely different spectrums. You know, but he's doing great. You know, and I still talk to him. You know, once in a while, he's good friends with my brother. And uh, right. so a couple of things going into the house. First of all, I don't think there's anyone else here who can actually say you know what I can beat the. Heavyweight champ, not in MMA, but you did beat him. Yeah. So, what does that give you confidence-wise? You know, versus uh, all the other guys. I, I know my uh, my wrestling is probably better than anybody's here, but you know, it's not wrestling. It's you know, it's mixed martial arts. So I got to learn to throw my punches and transition into my shots and explode and and you know, find the right angles and move and and throw bombs. You know, that's that's the plan. How's your striking? Uh I know I hit hard, you know, it's just a matter of breathing and and going more for speed than exertion. Right. You know. I learned the lesson the hard way in my third fight, you know, I came out and I punched the whole first round and I heard the bell and I finally took a breath and it was like, whew. Yeah. And I, and, you know, and I fought and I finished the third round and, you know, Robbie Lawler was cornering me, came in, I'm like, well, what do you think, man? He's like, that I win? He's like, what are you talking about? You got two rounds left. And I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, in your mind, it's either you either go or you quit, and, and yeah, I'm not going to quit. So I just I had to finish, and luckily I finished it in the fifth round. But people go nuts in this house. You were in prison, so when you watch a reality show and these guys are like, "Oh, I'm trapped for six weeks," oh, I, it hasn't came up yet. And I don't know if I'll probably bring it up in the house, but oh, I've been in way worse places. I mean, this is a country club, you know, no no TV. I mean, who cares? You know, you got a pool pool table. I mean. 
I've heard that a few times. I've heard people say, this is like being locked up, you know, in the hotel room. I was just like, not even close. I mean, you got Kimbo was kind of, I think he was sold as like this badass street guy, jail dude. So he may, I don't know, from an intimidation standpoint, it's like, hey, this guy's crazy, you know, borderline criminal. I, can see I don't know what other people think, eyes, but from your standpoint, it's like... I see the fear in his eyes. He's, you know, he's got more to lose than anybody. All the hype, bringing him in the last one, making him a target. You know, he's he's nervous. He's nervous, and he should be. Do you feel bad for him? No, not at all. It's his choice to be here, you know. Consequences. Live and learn. But I got to grapple with it. You know, it was kind of funny because everybody's floating away from him a little bit yesterday, but I was... I just went right to him, you know, I went to a little striking, a little wrestling. And, uh, you know, the striking, we didn't really get a good feel. You know, I, I know he's a heavy hitter, you know. I think everybody knows that he's got a one-punch power. But as far as wrestling, grappling, I mean, um, steps above him. But I don't know, he was just kind of the last one standing there. I don't know the they're, maybe some people are intimidated by him, but, you know, I just, I just can see it in his eyes that, mm -hmm. There's nothing to be afraid of.